Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Weather Plus by Billy. Today's date, 11-7-2022. New, this is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. Winter, Texas, to get some ice and snow by Thanksgiving. Hurricanes, diesel and truckers. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Mike Morales, VP Earthwatch, Suspicious, suspicious Observers, Hurricane Track, uh, Hal Turner, CDL Life Plus. So let's get started. Okay, I have a Patriot subscriber who said, my Walmart is next to a Home Depot. I suspect there are tunnels directly behind the Home Depot building, which has no entrance. So what she meant was there's a building behind her Home Depot. You walk around it, there's no entrance to it. Like, what's up with that? And uh, she says, I avoid the restrooms in the big box stores. Usually they're like down long halls next to the warehouse area yeah prime area for grabbing maybe have a patriot subscriber our walmart is built on top of fema camp and they have a a fence around it it's 10 acres plus fences i have another patriot subscriber who asked a friend who works at a walmart about the tunnels he said he can't talk about it so yeah anytime you hear that and, and like i said when i was young and worked in, at at a walmart in college i was shown the tunnels uh that and they were designed for u.s martial law which you know we might see in the future okay now i'm gonna start with this okay and I'd like to reach out to Mike Morales, the great weather guy, independent thinker, and extend uh, my condolences and the loss of his younger brother, Brian. And we say rest in peace, Brian. So Mike Morales and BP Earthwatch, we're talking about the hurricane models yeah now here's texas mexico texas florida about the things that are going on in the gulf now recently that was mike from around the world and also israeli news live that had to do with julia and she was going to come into nicaragua as a category one which she did but then uh Stephen Benin with this Israeli News Live said, oh, the models, she's got to turn around and go back through Honduras, come back out into Texas. Well, Mike from around the world had talked about Ian and said there was one designed for Texas. Are we seeing the geoengineering taking place? Now, uh, with this recent tropical system, there's something going on here and here. And both Mike Morales and BP are saying, mm, the models changed. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going with the Mike Morales. And I'll link that for you as a 16 day forecast. And he's talking about both of these systems, maybe making up into something uh, tropical or uh, hurricane one category. But both of them coming in and going along the East Coast all the way up to Canada in the next two weeks. Now, he's also talking about a big cold, Mike Morales, big cold front coming down in the west of the U.S., sweeping across the east to the east. And he's talking about, especially in Texas. And I know in Texas, Mike from around the world said our winter this year was going to be twice as cold as 2021. Well, that would take us down to temperatures of zero in Texas. We're not, uh, you know, geared up for that. So Mike is saying that by November, 
16. We could have in Texas ice and snow all the way down to the coast, which is where I live. So, yeah, that's going on. So, we see with our weather reports, it's good to get uh, different perspectives. So, that's going on. Now, we have this. Suspicious observers. Now, a lot of uh, suspicious observers, Ben Davidson is a science-based space weather site. And anytime you're hearing uh, things like, oh, there's a big solar flare going to hit the United States and take down our grid. And Okay, it's good to check in with suspicious observers. And he's saying the one that came out yesterday that, you know, some sites were saying it's it's going to take our power down. Uh, ben is saying no. Mm -mm. It was low. It was not facing the earth. And it was a low energy. Now, he is saying that we have more earthquakes in the last 20 years. Part of that reason is because the electromagnetic shield around the Earth has been going down. So, yeah, this is a good sight if you're hearing catastrophe. Now, if Ben says this is real, well then, it's real. It's based on science. Not, not trying to get, you know, people to come to his site. All right. James Neil Cooper about the three gorgeous dam and i like his site because he's uh, i think he's based in thailand but he's objective and he does give you pictures of the dam what's really going on now he's talking about uh cold weather affecting the dam plus and he's saying that he hopes the uh Chinese government has or is putting together an evacuation plan for some areas along the Three Gorges Dam. Apparently, he's anticipating or knows something. So, yeah. And now we understand, too, that that use of CCP uh, is not accurate. So, I'll avoid doing that also. I like to be accurate. Okay, 107 plus other sources are talking about the National Guard being put in 17 states, uh, mostly blue. That has to do with the Tuesday, November 8 election event now this correlates to the information that monkey works have been given out for several weeks about bigs uh military base and having small planes go to different parts of the u.s and what monkey was intimating was these were uh, military police so that would correlate to this National Guard in 17 states, military police, but it also correlates to a potential for martial law. So we'll have to stay awake and aware and see what's going on. Okay, Hal Turner is putting this out. Hal was 15 years with the FBI and he also did travel internationally. So he has a lot of contacts of so how Turner. He's putting this information out. Over the weekend, this past weekend, uh, November 6, 2022, in Washington, D.C., the Federal Reserve or someone had a 10-foot, 3-meter fence built around it. Now, this is what Hal says. Get some cash now. What do the bankers know? 
that they're not telling us that they had this fence built around the Federal Reserve over the weekend. We don't know. Now, how is uh, bringing this information out to that there's truckers reporting diesel is uh, not available in part of North Carolina, Oklahoma, and Tennessee. So yeah, we're seeing this. Personally, I think this is being orchestrated. So that's going on. Now we have uh, CDL Life uh, source bringing this out about uh, South Dakota and Nebraska. The governor in, um, uh, let's see, South Dakota, Christy Noam, and the governor in Nebraska, Pete Ricketts, both have come out and said that the uh, trucker's hours and this, this is a rule by the Department of Transportation that truckers can only be on the road for so many hours and then they have to rest and they have to keep uh, track of it. So these two governors are relaxing those rules because only for a certain group, those who are hauling liquid fuel, gasoline, diesel, uh, and for a certain time period uh, because they need to speed up and get out more shipments. Apparently, there's, there are shortages. So that concludes this brief uh, report. And let's get ready for ice and snow in Texas all the way down to the coast and along the east coast, uh, two tropical systems, one coming out of Florida and one adjacent to New York, but both to come along the U.S. coast, go all the way up to Canada. Okay, and let's remember, God is in charge and he is on the move. I love you and I'll see you soon.